Hi everyone, James Mandel here bringing you yet another video. Oh my god, you guys, I'm so excited for another episode of Celebrity Wig Recreation. Now, I have been obsessed with that Agora Hill song. I don't know what it is. I love Doja Cat though. But so I saw the video. I thought it was really fun. And I decided I wanted to make her pink, like sharply cut, crazy cut mullet with the tiara. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to recreate Doja Cat's hair. Because I haven't done a celebrity wig recreation since like lockdown honestly it's been so long so let's do this again and let's have some fun okay so i have here yet another garage wig and we're gonna see what we can transform this wig into now this wig is not the best quality if you want a great quality wig from me be sure and check out jamesmansfieldbeauty.com <laughs> yes okay so first things first i gotta take this coat off because i am dying right now it is so hot in this house oh my goodness i just made this dress it's from the pattern my um, gay daughter Jess had made me. And it, I'm starting to get into like strapless with like out the bullet bra, but like still has that shape. Look at that. Look at that curve. Look at that tit. Yes. I could take someone's eye out at some point. Yes. So I'm excited. Let's get started. Now, remember, it may not be exact interpretation because after all, this is James's version. So, take it with a grain of salt. We're gonna try and get as close as we can, but also remember, I'm a big old man with a big old man head. And we're gonna do what we can to make this wig look like Doja Cat. So, let's get it going. First things first, I'm gonna do like a little base tease in it because like I said, I got a big old head. Hers is like flat, 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 flat to her head. I don't have that luxury, so we're gonna work around my shortcomings. Now, I remember like Doja Cat back in the day day, like the like go to town days. Oh my gosh. What was the one where she's like turning into fruit? Is it juicy? What was that one called? Yeah. yeah, that was, oh my God. Such a good video. Like one thing Doja Cat will give you is visuals, girl. And she did not disappoint with her new album. Like Scarlett's been delivering. Like I've been loving all the visuals. And honestly, I'm excited to see what the next era is going to bring us. There's talk she might do a rock album, like punk, which could be really fun and different. And like she kind of gave us a taste of that when she performed Say So, the rock version, which I'm not gonna lie, wasn't my favorite, but it was different and I appreciate that. I appreciate taking risks and I love risks of any kind when it comes to art. Like I think it's awesome. That's the place to do it. And honestly, you could tell like at that point she was so sick of performing Say So, she's like, okay, we're doing it this way now. <laughs> she literally performed that song like 18 different ways. Like we had a jazz version at one point, like everything. <laughs> I'm surprised she didn't do country. It would have worked. She has the range. Still, I am partial to Boss Bitch from the Birds of Prey soundtrack. A soundtrack that y'all slept on, okay? It should have been a much bigger movie and a much bigger soundtrack than it was. I feel like the world just wasn't ready for it yet. Like it was such a good little cute movie. I'm surprised, you know? Okay, now this is honestly boring. So I'm going to base tease the rest of her and I'll be right back. <laughs> all right, we are back. Now I have it all teased out. It has a nice little base tease in it. So let's start actually cutting it and styling it. So I'm just gonna run a brush through it. And I pulled a lot of hair from like the back of the crown section forward because she has like a blunt, harsh cut bang in front. like super like straight across. It's like very choppy and fun. Like it almost reminds me of like Wendy O. Williams or like kind of like an old school 80s punk kind of look, which I love. Now I love just how visual Doja has been recently. Like I shouldn't say recently. She's always been super visual and super creative with her stuff. Like even like her live performance videos during lockdown were so good. Like that one of Streets where she's in like the milk or like that white liquid and she's just performing with that long ass hair. Oh my God. Didn't Clint make that? I believe my friend Clint Flowers actually made that wig. I'll double check to make sure. Let's see if he responds back. All right. Now, in the meantime, let's start cutting this biash. All right, we have our bangs all brushed forward. They're looking stunning. That's the front. It's like the harshest cut. So we're gonna start like lower and work our way around. That was so nerve wracking, but that's a start so far. I know it's super long at the moment, but again, I'm gonna start longer and work my way shorter as soon as we have everything going. I just wanna make sure I knew where the bangs were. <laughs> now I gotta chop so much hair off of this because it's mostly just about like the mullet shape and it's gotta be choppy. But yeah, her visual performance, especially for hot pink, like she was snapping, like especially during lockdown. <gasps> that other one where she's like in the all pink room with the furry walls and like she's walking around like this like little miniature maze 
and she has like that pink flip hair. It's so cute. Although I have to say, I even like her bald. I don't mind. And she's doing like doing like almost like Tank Girl kind of hairstyles. Like this one especially reminds me a lot of Tank Girl. Those of you who don't remember that, that was a famous comic from the 90s. They made it into a movie with Lori Petty. A much underrated but maligned movie. <laughs> I like the movie. I don't care what people say. It was a fun movie. Right now she's giving kind of like a, a big old like Katy Perry, Nicki Minaj kind of moment. <laughs> unintentionally. <laughs> And this wig has a bit of a curl to it, so I might have to run a steamer over it just to get it a little straighter. Let's start molding her up. Make sure you leave some long pieces. Okay, so, do any of you guys have a favorite era of Doja Cat? Let me know down below, like, I wanna know. <laughs> Mine would have to be like the hot pink era, like that was my favorite. Like she was going through so many different looks and so many different like fashions. Super cute. Oh my God, I just noticed my wrist is still green. So I've been doing drag brunch at Senor Frogs and I've been wearing a lot of jewelry and stuff recently just cause like, I'm not wearing it for that long. So I'm figuring like, it'll be fine. It's just for the opening, right? I look, my wrist has been green since the opening number. I don't know how to stop that. <laughs> I guess get better jewelry, but still like, yeah, that cheap metal has turned my wrist green. Oh my gosh. And let me tell you, honey, my body is in pain right now. Like, girl, I've been going through it. But I have been enjoying myself, I have to say. Being in front of a crowd again, here in the local scene has been a lot of fun. Honey, I've been dancing. It's been going off, okay? We've been popping off over here. Okay, she's starting to mull it up a tiny bit, but again, once I get the bangs right up here, it's gonna be everything. <laughs> oh, so I have been live streaming a lot lately, and I have to say, I mean, I've been loving it. Like, it's so much fun. I got, like, I've been playing video games again. Like, we started playing the quarry again because, again, I was horrible at it the last time. <laughs> Within the span of five minutes, my last play, I killed half the cast. Like, it was nuts. Like, I got a game over and everything, and um, Grace Sabrisky read me to filth afterwards. Like, don't come back. I'm not one to be told, no. So, naturally, I came back. And... You know, not a whole lot has progressed me better, but still, I never knew when to quit. And we've been streaming also on like James Mansfield 2 for that, my secondary channel where I talk about pop culture and also play video games. And that's also streaming on Kick. We just started a Kick. Yes. Oh my gosh. We just started a Kick and it also streams on Twitch. Honey, I've been keeping busy. I've been like trying to like plant myself everywhere, okay? Wherever a stream may grow, we're gonna put some seeds down. All right, well, I just got to chop this back section some more. So I'm going to do that. We have our front section separated. So I'm going to go chop this some more and we'll be right back. <laughs> Let me turn and show you this after I'm done with this little section <laughs> as I start in the front. It's looking a little bit like a budget Gem in the Holograms wig, but I guarantee it has to go through this process in order to get to what we want. That mullet will get there. It's kind of hairstyles. Always when you think of like, you know, super great, like goth hairstyles, like Susie and the Banshee. Susie Sue always had hair like this. Like really fun, like different gothy kind of haircuts. Or they always think like comic book characters, like I said, like Tank Girl and a bunch of others would have haircuts like this, where it's like super choppy and almost a little butch, which I love. It's like such a fun little take on like a traditional, like it's got the feminine back, but the very butch front. Like short cropped, bluntly cut, super cute. As you can see, I'm just brushing the back forward. That's what really helps with the mullet. I actually learned that from Katrina Klein. She taught me that's what they used to do. You pull all the hair from the back to the front. <laughs> and that's how you create that hair. It's starting to come alive. Now I have been like really enjoying my other channels. Like it's just James and James Mansell too. We have some fun stuff coming up. I saw a lot of people ask me to do like a doll tour or something like that. Like show you all my dolls, my collection, which again, would be tailor-made for that channel. I'm down for it because I have a lot of really cool stuff. Like as you can see just from like the video here, like we have, you know, of course, our gay Billy, which we all adore. We love gay Billy. I'm hiding him deliberately so you can't see certain parts of him. But look at how adorable he is. So beautiful. And I also just got this. Now, baby, this was trauma-inducing. So I was gifted, you know, some doll money from my wonderful subscriber, Darling Dolphine. And honey, when I tell you, this is total me like this is completely my fault i ordered this from ebay and like i thought nothing of it just paying you know just do -do -do -do, went through everything didn't look at anything when i saw it was delivered i saw it was delivered at my old apartment so i was like freaking out because I was, it's someone's lockbox i'm pretty sure they're just gonna take it and just you know probably look for it on facebook marketplace later you know and darling dolphin made this missing persons poster because she's what 
an asshole, LOL. But, you know, I was a mad person and I was calling up that apartment complex to get it back. And this thing is entirely my fault that it happened. But thankfully, goodness prevailed. The person was very nice and sweet and allowed them to grab it. So I have here another Francie with pretty growing hair and I just fixed her hair. Look how gorgeous she looks. The barrel curls are curling, okay? I am so pleased. And look at the side, like the spit curls are still so perfect. I don't know what this outfit is. It came with it. I just cut it shorter because it was really long and matronly and it wasn't cute. So now she's in like a nice little fun 60s mini dress with some go-go boots. I love her. I'm happy. We're all happy. Everything's great here. <laughs> the crisis was averted. And now I have to make sure I take off that old address so that it never happens again. God, am I an idiot sometimes. Clint wrote us back. Let's see what Clint had to say. Clint said, hey, I don't think so. I built the one for the streets video and Jay bought it and installed it. Oh, the music video for like the silhouette when she did the, um, the, um, put your head on my shoulder, like that challenge, the red light challenge. Is that what it's called? Okay. It's this one. If you guys know what it is, let me know. Is it the music video? What is it? You guys tell me down below. Let's start chopping away and steaming her straight because that's what we have to do now to make sure this wig looks as beautiful and as full as possible. Again, I'm leaving the bang a little long because again, I have a bigger face, so it's gonna look a little crazy on me. I'll probably chop it a little more once it's actually on my head. That's where it is so far though. Like it's pretty good. All right, well, I have to just chop the hair up a little more, but she's honestly kind of there. So I am going to do that and I'll be right back with our final results. <laughs> Woo, I am back. Baby, this wig actually was kicking my ass, okay? It was a lot of the chopping and just like getting the layering just right because mullets are kind of tricky. Like if you do it wrong or you cut too much, it's over with, honey. So this one was actually pretty challenging, I have to say. Like cutting through it was a lot of work. And also I realized last minute, like, oh, shit. this is a longer hairstyle. So I had to make sure I had longer pieces still. I almost cut everything shoulder length, <laughs> which honestly would probably be a cute style too. I feel like I'd probably bring the mullet out more. Again, I'm trying to get synthetic wig do what's actually a human hair wig's job. Because I'm pretty sure the wig she's wearing in the video is human hair, which works a lot different from synthetic because baby, this bunched up so much and gets so choppy if you cut it the wrong way. It was a lot of work. It was some trials, it was some tribulations, but we got through it. And I think it's actually kind of cute. Like it's a nice little fun mullet. I look a little bit like Peso Pluma, just the tiniest bit, <laughs> like a pink Peso Pluma, a little bit like that, or like um, Ash Nico in pink. Very that, very, very, very that. It's very video game character. Like I feel a little bit like Legend of Zelda right now, or just like um one of those 90s animated movies. Like what's that one with the fairies? Was it Secret of Nymph or something? Or Fern Gully. Fern Gully, I think is what it was. It's very Fern Gully. Like again, like, it's a hairstyle. I have it tucked behind my ears, but you can honestly like play around with it and make it more moldy if you want. Hers is like more tucked behind the ears. I kind of like it though. Like it's very like, like already in a fighting game or something or Final Fantasy. And I'd like to take a moment for my YouTube super thanks. I have some super thanks from Scott. Thank you, Scott. Abby. Thanks, Abby. Roger. Thank you, Roger. And Brown Sugar. Thank you all so much for those YouTube super thanks. Now, this has been a lot of fun to like do. Honestly, like I say, it was a lot of work. Like it was, it took a little bit out of me, but you know what? I'm excited I get to get off of here and eat a burger. And if there's a celebrity hairstyle you want to see me recreate, be sure and leave it down below. I'm always open for suggestion. Oh my God, it's like I'm ready to get brainwashed or something. I'm open for suggestion. And if you like this wig and want to own it, it'll be available on my Depop where I sell a lot of my used wigs. Now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, Bye! Now hit the outro! <laughs> Click here and see me recreate Yuhua Hamasaki's entrance wig from season 10, or see me recreate Maddie Morvis's gigantic wig from the pit stop. Come on, click it, you know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll scratch you with those locked toenails from the Agora Hills video. So click it! It's going for a vida. Encuentra